Hey, it's Kim and welcome back. Today I am so excited about this unboxing. I have a Scarlet 151 Ultra Premium Collection to open up. I am over the moon to have one of these. I absolutely love the Ultra Premium Collection line. I think you get so many extra goodies in these products that makes them really, really special. If you like unboxing videos, please like, please subscribe. It means the absolute world to me and helps me out way more than you realize. Without further ado, let's get into this. So I've realized this product is way too big. That's what she said. I have realized this product is way too big to actually open the box with my hand cam. So we're gonna quickly open it up up here. I'll pull everything out and then I'll show you what we've got. I'm super excited about this. Packaging is really lax, ultra premium as you would imagine. Look at that Mew. I'm definitely gonna be keeping this. It's so cute. We've got all of the promos inside. I'll pull these out and give you a closer look. And then there's a play mat, a deck box, and all this other fun stuff. All right, so all of your promo cards are going to come in this really cute little holder. We've got the Mew EX SAR, which is super sweet. We've got the gold Mew EX as a promo. Um, Oh, is that actually a promo or is it just like, it's just the card. I pulled that in the set. Oh, that's the gold card. Oh, it's a gold card. Gold card, that's fun. And then we have the Mewtwo alternate art, which is also super cool. I am really excited about this. I unfortunately never pulled this card in Japanese, so I'm stoked to have it in English. I never quite know what to do with gold cards, but this is really cool. It looks like the real thing. And look at the back of it, that's so awesome. Somebody let me know in the comments what you think I should do with this one. And then we also have this really awesome Mewtwo alternate art, which is a super cool card as well. Very nice looking promo there too. Other goodies that come in this box would be this really cute deck box. I'm super excited about this. I love this colorful print with all of the original 151 Pokemon. You get some damage counters, which you pretty much always get. Very nice little pink dice. And one of my favorite things in here, this super cute little Mew coin. Isn't he just adorable? Look at his little hands. We have a brand new play mat to add to the collection. It's got a super sweet Mew on it. Very three dimensional and real looking. And then it has that gorgeous print that I love so much with all of the original Pokemon. And then it's got Scarlet 151 up in the corner. So we'll use this one as the background for the rest of the video. All right, and last but not least, we have our 16 packs of Scarlet 151 to open up together. I'm really happy about this. I'm loving this set, so excited to see what else we can find. I am keeping all of my codes because I'm playing the online TCG. No shiny energy in this one. I'm guessing you guys have seen a ton of this already, so I'm not gonna go really slow on all of the regular arts, but I'm definitely hoping we can get some nice hits. Oh my God, right off the bat, we get the Machoke art rare. This is actually the first artwork that Tetsu Kiyama has done for the TCG, and I think that they absolutely nailed it. Did we get a double hit? No, regular holo to wrap up the pack, but that is okay. Second pack. I have not actually watched one of these be opened up at all, so I'm not sure what to expect in terms of hits or anything like that, but I am just really excited to see some more of this set, hopefully get a little bit close to finishing it. These cards just make me so happy. That little Squirtle is so cute. There's a few artworks in this set that I really want to paint. We've got our reverses. No hit in that one, but a beautiful Vaporeon. I am just going back and forth between sides of this box. I don't think that there's any particular like secrets or special hacks or whatever about which side is more likely to have hits. I feel like when I get a hit straight away though, I got that polywag, look how cute he is. When I get a hit straight away, I feel like it's gonna be a good box. Um, hopefully we don't go downhill, but I've got my fingers crossed. We've got a reverse Rhyhorn, reverse War Wartortle, Regular Hollow, we just got a Gyarados, that's all right. If you've opened up one of these products though, please let me know how you went. I'm super duper curious. Ooh, we did finally get one of those Hollow energies. I love these Galaxy energies. They feel pretty special. I kind of want to build a whole deck with them. We've got Ghastly, 
beautiful artworks in this set. I think it's really fun to revisit the original 151 Pokemon. Oh my God, look at that little Charmander. He is super playable. We've got a Poliwrath and a Jolteon. All right, so we're getting there with the evolutions. In terms of finishing this set, I definitely need some of the more expensive cards. So I'm hoping I really need to find that Charizard and I really need to find the Erica card. I think if I can pull those two, I'll be in a pretty good spot to finish the set, but if not, I'm gonna be struggling. So hopefully we can find at least one really good hit today. We've got a gorgeous Weedle. All right, we're having a hard time. I opened up a few boxes of this set, just the um, Elite Trainer box for my local card store. And I thought it was super interesting because we similarly in that unboxing had a few boxes that were just like absolutely stacked. And then we had some that just did not have that much. So I'm just hoping that this is one of those boxes that's gonna be stacked. We've got a reverse Helix Fossil. Oh my gosh, and a Gengar. All right, it is a very cool Gengar though. I love my Kamiya. Concerned. All right. Hopefully we, ooh, okay. At least we get a shiny energy. This is good. We have a shiny energy. Not mad. I'm definitely looking to build a deck with those shiny energies. Beautiful Pikachu. I wish we got those Master Ball Hollows. I feel like that would be a special thing to do for the English set. We seem to just get stiffed on the Hollows. We've got two regular reverses. All right, and a Golem EX, our first regular EX, but we'll take it as a hit. I'm not mad, I love the sparkle on these, they're very cool. We are nearly halfway through this box. I feel like we definitely need some more art rares. I would obviously love to see a secret art rare, preferably one I don't have yet. Um, I don't have either of the Erica cards, so there are quite a few things that I would love to pull. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know <laughs> I've been haunted by Giovanni. My gosh, okay, so another regular hollow. This is okay, we're fine, it's gonna be fine. But yes, I've been absolutely haunted by that Giovanni full art, so I would love to see the SAR of Giovanni. I feel like that would be a good find. Like there's honestly, there's so many things that we could pull from this box. Uh, if I just keep talking about them, maybe we channel them. Beautiful slow poke. I am remaining hopeful. We've still got a bunch of packs to open. Gorgeous Nidorina, very cool artwork there. Pidgeot, Ekans, gorgeous as well. And another regular hollow. All right, I'm, I'm getting a bit stressed. Still have a stack of cards to open. So I think we just, we persevere. Fingers crossed, cute little diglet. Oh my gosh, look at that Bulbasaur, he's so happy. He's so sweet. That Okacheke Slowpoke as well. Okacheke Slowbro, I think he was he was the perfect artist for those little cute pink derps. Bellsprout, Daisy's help. Okay, finally, this is good, this is good. We get a full art that we didn't have yet. Beautiful Daisy's helpful art trainer. This is excellent. I feel like this is promising. We've gotten a good art rare. We've gotten another card we didn't need. We didn't have yet, sorry. Um, so, all right, we're, we're on the right track. We're looking up now. And we're only just over halfway done with this box. So, I actually, all right, things are looking up. I feel like this is, this is feeling better. <laughs> this is feeling better. It does. Um, remind me though, I feel like with the first two sets of Scarlet and Violet, we were absolutely spoiled. Look at this beautiful Butterfree card. That is so, so pretty. We were absolutely spoiled though with those first couple sets. We've got a Reverse Kabutops, Reverse Tratini, another one of my favorites, and a Moltres. Okay, this is all right, because I think what I found with opening Scarlet Violet base um, as well as Obsidian Flames, like the ratio of hits and the number of those art rare cards that you got was just so high. Um, like it made them really fun to open, but I feel like at the same time, it kind of, kind of spoils you a little bit and it makes you feel like you should get a hit just like all the time. It's not always possible. All right, we've got another reverse wheezing. Okay, another regular hollow. This is, this is kind of a tough box it seems. 
If you have opened up one of these though, like I said, I would absolutely love to know about it. I'd love to hear what your best hits were. We've got another one of those gorgeous shiny energies. I feel like I need to build a fire deck with those now. Um, gorgeous horsey as well. Again, there's so many pretty artworks. Look at the lighting in this Nidoran. It's so gorgeous. Um, Scyther, not one of my favorite Pokemon, I'll be honest. We've got a reverse Persian cat get that other Giovanni card. Tentacruel. The Blastoise EX. All right, our second regular EX. I'm not going to complain. We love a good Blasty Boy. Okay, we have three packs to go. I am really hopeful. I'm really hopeful that we're going to get another good hit at least. I think one more. One more really good hit would make me happy. Two would be even better. I feel like if we could get another Art Rare, definitely would be wonderful. Uh, but a secret art ray would be even better. Oh, beautiful reverse vial plume. That one is absolutely gorgeous. A reverse licky tongue. An aerodactyl. Okay, not going to complain. Second last pack magic. If you follow me on Twitch, twitch.com slash Kim the Collector, you will see I've had so much good luck in my second last packs. I don't know what it is. They seem to be fairly lucky, so hopefully this one is no different. <laughs> Cloyster, everybody's favorite. Giovanni's Charisma, Reverse Firo, Gloom, nothing on the star, my goodness. Okay, one more. I feel like an addict. Okay, last pack magic. If you are still watching, I would love to see the LPMs in the chat down below, please, in the comments. Sorry, we've got another hollow energy. Um, hopefully we can pull it out with another good hit. I think I see something at the back of this one. I've got my fingers crossed. It's something special that we need. Um, if you've made it this far though, thank you so, so much for watching. I can't tell you how much I appreciate your support. We've got an Oddish. Yes, 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 yes. All right, we got the Giovanni card we really wanted. We got the Giovanni's Charisma SAR, absolutely gorgeous. See those two little gold stars right down at the bottom. That makes me happy. Okay, finally, this was a productive unboxing. I feel really good about this. And can we pull out a double hit? Almost. Ditto is a pretty good hit too, but I'm super stoked with that. We finally got something really, really good out of this box. Thank you so, so much for watching my unboxing. That was a really fun UPC. I enjoyed it. If you liked it, please leave it a like, please leave it a comment. All of my links are gonna be down below. I'm checking out a new platform this week. It's called Yifster. This one's gonna be uploaded on there as well. If you would like to support me, you can actually leave me tips there, which would be really helpful. Um, but thank you so much to Yifster for working with me on this video. I'm excited to try out something different. If you wanna go check it out, check out the platform. Let me know what you think. If we want to migrate from YouTube over there, we can definitely do that. I'm happy to do whatever you guys find easiest to access, but thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week. I put out a new video every week, so I hope to see you back next time. Until then, take care of yourself and I'll see you soon. Bye.